uh, Lions are thinking of modifying their uniforms. And I think a lot of people want, like, the all-black uniforms back. Or, you know, we, we've had a couple artist renditions. Kevin that Jones uniform. Yeah, yeah that, that, that we've thrown them up on our social media here at Woodward Sports. And people seem to like throwback uniforms, you know, the pewter helmets and yep. that type of stuff. Nope. But the Lions are thinking of putting a crest mm. on their uniforms. Like, uh, like Ryan Seacrest? Yeah, yeah. Well, at least they'd have one of those. Like a, like a crest, like, like Harry Potter? Like a patch. Okay. Correct. Like, like a where, patch. Where the commanders were trying to go to? Exactly. And then they made a mistake and got a year wrong on them. That's what they had to There we the go. Crest. And it would be the championship years uh, for Detroit football. Not Super Bowl champions, because we've never won a Super Bowl championship, but we've had championship teams here. It was in the 50s. Um, I wasn't alive during that time, but it happened, I hear. Okay. How do you feel about the Lions putting a patch on their uniforms, celebrating victories from damn near 70 years ago? Okay, so the first thing, I want to ask Corey and Alex and Sam what they feel about the patch itself. But just looking at it as a snapshot real quick, why the hell do we want to remind <laughs> the other states and cities around the country that we haven't won a championship since the 50s? That we have four and the first one was in the 30s when the league first came into existence. Why would we want to openly remind people of that? Why would we openly invite people to take more jokes and shots than they already do with that patch? Hell no. Hell no. Like, Why are we trying to promote world championships? Excuse me. Last time I checked, there's something called the Lombardi Trophy, and it represents the Super Bowl. Why are we trying to remind people of world championships? That was way too long ago. Right, and this came about because the commanders are doing it, and it got out there that, hey, the Lions may do this. They got Super Bowls. A fan made that up, like kind of spoofing what they did. Right. Um, But damn, man, I would rather have a not since 57 patch on the shirt. But Corey, what you thinking? Should we patch it up this year? Trash. Do we really need to add more to make the Lions no. a laughing stock? Just <laughs> don't do it. Like it's 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 okay. We everybody knows who covers football that the Lions have an NFL championship. Don't remind people of how long ago it's been since the Lions have been great. What was that back when they had what leather helmets and whatnot? I'm trying to Let's not go back, not go back to that. It's it's gonna the Lions do that. They are going to be a joke. Last time they won a championship, they played at Tiger Stadium. Like Bobby Lane and them were literally playing at Tiger Stadium. In the words of Bubba Dub, trash. <laughs> trash. If they wanted to add, you, add, add a, a, a William Clay for a patch, okay, I'm fine. They with already that. have that, right? Yeah. They still got the William Clay for it. I'm done that neither. I take that off too. But yeah, I mean, you know, that's fine. Honor, honor the team or honor the team the year the team was founded or, you know, that. Just. Going back to what black when, the, when it was all black and white pictures and um, getting that kind of title, get, who cares? Get, get a nice graphic of like Barry Sanders and Calvin Johnson or something. Freak it, I don't know. Do do something creative. At least at least when we think of them, we think of success. Not a patch that represents 1937 <laughs> and then 19. 19- <laughs> I can just see like the two guys that are still alive from when we won it, like going out rushing to buy yeah, that just patch. Can't be alive. Like <laughs> <laughs> can't. No, they definitely not in the Walker. Ah <laughs> oh, man. Well, it's, if the Lions do that, obviously, I don't think anybody in this room is supportive of it. I, Sam, Sam, what do you Sam, think? what do you think? Oh, I'm absolutely not in support of it. I mean, these championships happened before there were even Super Bowls. You cannot commemorate them on a patch. That's absurd, ridiculous, terrible. They were on the radio. Hey, most people listening to that championships were listening to it on the radio. Uh, it wasn't even TV. <laughs> like, what is going put on? A, put, like, a, put a patch on there for the last time you won a playoff game. How about that? 1991? Put, a, put Eric Kramer on our chest? <laughs> Heck, even, yeah. And then they got rid of Eric Kramer. <laughs> yeah. In good old Detroit Lions fashion, the guy that got, got you to the NFC Championship, you get rid of him. And let, him go to, let him go to Chicago. We hey, Scott Mitchell, man. Hey, that was team. after, hey, though. Chicago at least they're consistent. Later. Anybody that does something significant here, get hey, out of here. No. <laughs> we, what? We guarding alarm. You got a Hall of Fame career? Hey, we got to get him out of here. Get him out of here. Like, <laughs> Stay, as, out. <laughs> Stay, <laughs> Stay out. Stay out. <laughs> uh, let me, okay, but let's get semi-serious, but I don't want to get too serious. Just the patch itself. How are we with the patch? If it does not have those four, you know, ancient years on them, are we decent with a patch? I mean, I like the established patch, mm-hmm. and it's got the William Clay Ford on there. So yeah, I don't mind if you just stick with the center and nothing that's around the outside right. of it. I, I'm good with that patch. You almost can lie to the fans too and say, because you know this is the Motor City. You know, it kind of looks like a wheel. 
It counts like a tire. So maybe, you know, you got Penske this around. Maybe maybe Penske throws some money at the Lions this year. And I, I, no, Alex, trash. We, got, we got a request oh, for your fact. opinion, Alex Mayer. What do you think Someone about the Someone requested my opinion? They did. Uh, absolutely not. Uh, like you guys said, no need to remind people how uh, sad of a franchise we are. Shout out to Lions Royalty on Twitter. He's the graphic designer that made this badge. And, it's, again, it's only because of the Washington Commanders. They right. made a badge. And the even the Washington cool. Commanders shouldn't have a badge because they don't have that much winning to talk about either. Granted, they have more in the Lions, but still. If you remove the dates yeah, just, at the bottom, I'm cool with it. Yep. Yeah. Remove the dates at the bottom, yeah. I'm cool. And that's why I said, let me let me get back to it. Like, right, is it cool without the dates? You like yeah, it without yeah, the dates? Yeah, take the dates off. I'm fine. I think the patch itself is dope. Like, I think that's dope. I just think those, like, all I saw when I initially saw it, <laughs> all, I, all I saw, you know, as a Detroiter, <laughs> we know our dates. Like, we, we know what years and it's sports. Like, you know, you talk about the red, what you talk about. Like, we know the years. Right. As soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, all I could see was the years. I couldn't even see, like, the graphic in terms of the, art, the artistry in terms of the graph. So, Sheila Fordham, if you're watching right now, uh, please do not no. follow the road of the Washington. What are they? The Commanders the Commanders. Now? The Commandos. Just, the just com do not do it. We, we don't need those patches on our uniform. Commandos. Let's, If anything, let's put a kneecap on our uniforms and call it a day with Dan Campbell. D.C. kneecaps. With a, with a uh, cut, Starbucks cup. Yeah, Nancy Kerrigan. <laughs> so you put Tanya Harding on there. <laughs> which and it says kneecap here, hunter. Crazy. <laughs> now, that's, now we're cooking with heat. With a shot of uh, pike. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's tough. And it happened here. You got to love that, man. Oh, yeah. Detroit's where everything happened. I mean, NWA getting bum-rushed off the stage. Oh, man. <laughs> Joe Lewis strikes again. Oh, Joe Lewis, legendary. <laughs> Joe Lewis strikes again, man. Whether it's NWA, whether it's Nancy Kerrigan, we don't we don't discriminate. And you can, speaking you of legendaries, <laughs> Michigan has a new football team, and the number one overall pick is from your alma mater, Braylon Edwards. Shea Patterson, man. We are going to talk about Shea Patterson and the Michigan Panthers coming up next right here on the Woodward Sports Network. My name is Stick filling in for Ryan Armani. That is Braylon Edwards. Corey sitting in, and this is The Bottom Line, where we don't believe in that patch with those numbers on it. But without the numbers, we believe in it, though. This is The Bottom Line. You've reached into the video. You know what you should do? Press like. You know you like the content that we have here at Woodward Sports Network. I'm Braylon Networks from the bottom line. Subscribe to us right now.